hope you too is on I'm back with another story time and as y'all see by that title y'all already know what I'm gonna be telling y'all today now before I get into the story time this is not to bash anybody character this is not for y'all to target anybody's character um I was being asked to do this story time when y'all asked me in the Q&A have I ever got cheated on and when I answered y'all asked me to do a story time on it and when y'all asked me I went to that person to see, you know, how they feel if I was to do the story time. And they told me that, you know, we should just keep that between us. That should be nobody's business. It's still nobody's business, but I don't feel like it's right that that person can go tell certain people that you did what you did. And that I'm supposed to just keep it to myself. So, I decided to tell a story time. Now, this story time has two parts. I am going to be doing part one. If y'all want part two, y'all got to comment down below and let me know. So, with that being said, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, send to a friend or a family member, and let's get into the story time. So, we're going to start with when his little sister had mentioned the girl to me out of nowhere. Now, mind y'all, he was going to one high school, I was going to another. But one night, I was in his kitchen, and I was cleaning out Maya um, cups, because at the time, it was just Maya. And I was cleaning out her cups in the kitchen, and his little sister was outside. And out of nowhere, she came from outside into the kitchen and was like, Hey, you know my brother be, you know, flirting and touching with this girl on the bus? So, I didn't say nothing at first. I paid it no mind. I brushed it off at the same time. Like, you know, why would she come to me and say that, you know, out of nowhere? And remind you, like, she used to love being under me. She used to love talking to me. Anytime she talked to me, she never mentioned nothing about no girl. So, why would she say something like that out of nowhere? So, I stopped and I said, what you said? And she repeated what she had just told me. So I went to the back. You already know, heart racing, ears high. I went to the back. I kicked his door. It flew open. He jumps up, eyes big. I say, so who is this girl that your sister telling me that you on the bus flirting and touching with and stuff like that? So he like, oh, um, he's stuttering. Oh, um, 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 you tell my, um, 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 I forgot whatever he said the girl's name was. So I'm like, what you mean? Like, he like, oh, I was just playing, da da da. Many might look at that as not cheating, but me and this man had talked. We had long conversations about our relationship and what we will allow and things we wouldn't allow, like boundaries. So if you told me that you wouldn't want me to entertain another male, far as you know, touching, play, fighting, texting, calling, all that, I told you the same. So why would you go behind my back and you know break that promise? And I ain't did that. So that's cheating. So he go to apologize and then this, that, and the third. And I'm like, no, like, you know, like, I can't. So I packed up our stuff and I headed back to my mama house with my baby. So let's fast forward to when I actually caught him cheating. Now, this is like, I'll say like five, six months after Lonnie was born. So, um, you know, we didn't stay together. We still stayed with our parents. So... He stayed around the corner with his mama. You know, I was around the corner with my mama. So, you know, by us having kids, we had to, you know, work together somehow. So it had became an issue because when he comes to my house, which was around the time of like six, maybe seven, eight o'clock at night. Um, the minute he get there, I get a text, I get a call saying, oh, tell him come back. He got to clean up this. He got to clean up that. He got to take out trash. He got to do this. He got to do that. At first, you know, I was telling him like, hey, you know, your people said you got to go take care of this, go take care of that and then come back. But for it to be happening every time he came to my house, it's like he's sitting at home all day and y'all wait till he come help with his kids, which is at night. And then now y'all want to bother him and tell him to do this and do that. And I wasn't respecting it because just like I didn't bother him when he was over there with y'all, give me that same respect because I've been helping my kids all day. So that's that was our agreement. I get the girls during the day, and at night, he's supposed to help me take care of them. That wasn't fair to me to take care of them by myself. And he's right around the corner. It ain't like he needed a car to come to me. So it got to the point where I stopped doing it. I'm like, no, like, you're going to tend to your kids. I've been with them all day. And remind y'all, I did hair still, so it was like, I'm losing clients because I'm juggling two babies all day. I can't do hair and tend to my kids. So it's like, I'm waiting on you to come, and you just keep feeling me. I had a client and I let him know I had a client like I always communicated I always you know tried to come up with different agreements and different schedules so that we wouldn't have any problems and it still would be a problem 
So I had communicated with him that day that I had a client around like five. He was like, oh, okay, I'm going to be there, you know, just that and the third. Whole day, he didn't show up. Luckily, my client was, you know, understandable enough. So I asked her, can I push it towards the next day? And she agreed, you know. So I was like, okay, cool. So then he comes there, you know, like eight, nine, and he comes in there, you know, looking lost. So I'm like, the agreement was I have them all day. And, you know, six, maybe seven, you're supposed to come and help me with them. I had them all day. Like, that's not fair to me. Plus, I had a client today. He says out his own mouth. My mama said that I couldn't come over here until she wanted me to come over here. So I looked at him and said, what? Like, that didn't make sense to me. So he was like, that's what she said. I'm like, okay, cool. Because it, it didn't make sense to me. So I'm like, you know what? It is what it is. So we go to, you know, going back and forth. We arguing this, that, and the third. And I'm like, you know what? Just go. You know, I'm doing it all day by myself anyways, you know. So he like, you know, whatever, um, it's her house. I have to do what she say, or you know what she said she going to do. And I'm like, at the same time, is you got to put your foot down because I wouldn't dare let my people disrespect him and they never have. So I don't know why you even allowing somebody to disrespect me and your kids because I'm here 24 seven doing everything. Like, and all I ask you to do is when I have a client, or at the end of the day, come help with your kids while I can get some stuff around. I can't clean. I can't do nothing. So I'm doing the same routine all day, every day, juggling two kids. You no, know, he just started being so nonchalant. Like, okay, bro. Okay, it is what it is. Now, remind y'all, he, like, before all this, he would communicate with me. You know, he, he'll reassure me. He would try to, like, you know, fight for his family and help me find other solutions to try to, like, make things work. That's how he is. Uh, that's how he was. This particular day, he just so nonchalant, like, okay, okay, whatever, whatever. So, I had bought him an iPhone, and I was like, you know what, since you want to be so nasty, because even when he was over there all day, he didn't call, he didn't text us, he did nothing. Put the phone that I bought you in my top drawer. So, he threw the phone in my top drawer, and then he walked out the door. And usually, when we used to get into, like, little arguments or disagreements, within, like, an hour or two, he'll be back at my mama's house. So, it was like, you know, it is what it is. I didn't really think too much of it, but I did notice like his attitude was very much didn't care, very nonchalant. And I'm like, okay, so he goes home and hours go by. He didn't try to come back to the house. He didn't try to talk. He didn't try to nothing. Now, mind y'all, I'm the one that's always communicating. I'm the one that's always trying to solve problems and this, that, and the third. He didn't try to do none of that. Like, he just was like, okay, oh well. So, next thing you know, I get on Instagram and I'm watching stories and it say he active. I'm like, how he active? If his phone here, how you active, but then, you know, call and check up on your kids. I had never stopped that man from seeing his kids. When we used to get into a lot of arguments and he go home, if he come knocking on the door, that man used to come right back in and get his kids, play and talk with his kids. Like it's been hours and remind y'all, this is like two, three in the morning. So he like, oh, um, what they doing? I said, they just woke up from a nap. Now they up. So he like, oh, okay. That's all he said, y'all. When I tell y'all this man was acting so different, like, I grew up with this man. Like, I know you like the back of my hand. So when you start moving weird, I already know what's going on. So Maya, she usually would sleep on his chest. That's how she went to sleep. So she had woke up crying. I tried to give her a bottle. She just kept whining. So I'm like, you know, what do you want? Around this time, Maya's like, what, two years old? And she like, you know, dada. That's all she kept saying was dada. So I ended up calling him, and I was like, Maya, calling for you. Like, he could have picked her up and took him to his house or came to my house and, like, you know, put her to sleep and left again. It didn't matter. So, when I called him, he didn't answer. So, I told him, I said, Maya wants you. He FaceTimed me back, which I could show y'all the call right here. I had screen recorded the call because he was acting so weird. So, when he got on the phone with my baby, he was, like, hardly talking. So, she just was smiling and she was like, hey, dada, dada, dada. And he was like, so, what you doing? And then she was saying whatever she was saying. And then he was like, why you not sleep? And, you know, she was responding or whatever. And then it got real, real quiet. Like, strictly quiet. I could tell that he was on another app because the screen had went off. So, I'm sitting, I'm like, you acting so weird. Like, so weird. So, then he started rushing my baby out the phone. He was like, um, okay, I'm going to talk to you later. Um, I got to clean up my room. 
Who you think you talking to? Any other time this man has cleaned up, that go for his room, kitchen, bathroom, hallway, living room. And I'll be like, um, okay, well, call me when you're done. I don't want to, you know, distract you with this that, and third. He'd be like, no, you're going to sit on the phone the whole time I clean up. You're not distracting me. And da da da, da. Like, we was always on the phone. Everywhere we went, anything that we did, if we were separated, we was on the phone. So, all of a sudden, you rush my baby off the phone to so I said, you got to clean up your room. I found that weird. After that, I hung up the phone. Me and the girls ended up falling asleep. So the next morning, he texted me, and he was like, when y'all get up, text me. So I texted him. I said, we up. He was like, oh, okay, what y'all doing? I said, nothing. He said, did y'all eat yet? I said, no, we just getting up. He was like, oh, okay, when I get done cooking, I'm going to bring y'all a plate. I said, okay. Now, mind y'all, that was like 9 in the morning. 10 went by, 11 went by, 12 went by. I did not hear from this man at all. So then he texted out no one. He like, oh, I'm finna delete Instagram. I said, why? He said, oh, because it's boring. I said, oh, okay. He like, yeah, but I'm almost done cooking. I'm like, okay. So then after I got done, you know, feeding my kids and bathing them, I put on a movie and we ended up falling asleep for a good two hours. And when I woke up, I woke up with this gut feeling in my stomach again. I already don't mention to y'all this gut feeling. I mentioned to y'all too many times this gut feeling. I saw to y'all on my daddy gravesite that I woke up with this gut feeling in my stomach. And I just sat up and I looked to the side. My babies were still asleep. I stood up and something told me to grab his phone out my dresser. I swear to y'all on my daddy. Something was like, grab his phone, not the dresser. I grabbed his phone. His password was his birthday. So I put it in, it unlocked. After it unlocked, y'all, I swear to y'all, something said go to Instagram. I went to Instagram straight to the messages. The first message was a bitch. I'm like, I've been with you then in your whole life. Anybody or any female you consider family are already done seen or met. So who is this bitch? So I'm looking, I click on it. I'm talking about some, it's paragraphs out the paragraphs out the paragraphs. Now, y'all only got like one or two paragraphs because the other ones he heard and deleted out the phone when I tried to send them to myself. We're going to get to that, you know, farther in the story. So, as I'm reading, I'm like, who the hell is this? All I seen was, I'm feeling you. I'm liking you. What you doing? And that's all I need to see. And I started crashing the hell out. When I tell y'all, I went to screaming. My heart went to sinking. Like, I was like, I'm still asleep. Like, this is a dream. Because he's not playing with me like this. He he is not playing with me like this. So, y'all, as I'm still reading the messages, they currently still texting. Like, they texting still as I'm reading the messages. And I'm like, oh, okay. Then he's telling the girl about me. We don't have long conversations when this man has came to my house late at night. And after we put the kids to sleep. He'll tell me like, oh, yeah, I'm so ready to leave my mama house. You know, I'm tired of going through the same thing. And I know she causing us to, you know, drift away from each other. She causing our arguments because we wasn't like this before. And this, that, and the third telling me how he's so ready to get away from his mama. But then in a text message to the girl, you telling her that I'm the problem. But you were just telling my mama... And all my other people at the house, when we was talking, that you know your mama is the problem. Because she always been a problem. You said that out your own mouth. But then you telling this girl, oh yeah, I got a girlfriend. But all she want to do is argue with me and try to fight my mama. How I'm trying to fight your mama? Like, I ain't even get that close yet. So what are you talking about? So then I'm like, oh, okay, so when I seen it, y'all, like, you know, my heart racing. If you went through stuff like this, then you already know how, you know, your your like, you panicking. You can't breathe. So I go to my mama to make sure I'm not tripping. And I give her the phone. But, like, when I give her the phone, she already can see my face. And she like, what is wrong? And I'm just pointing at the phone. So she goes to reading. And that's, you know, as she reading, I see her eyes get big and her mouth just get wide open. And she like, I know that's not who I think it is. And I was like... She was like, you got to be playing with me, Zai. And I'm like, I'm so serious. She was like, no, come on. No, 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 no. She just kept saying no. She was like, ain't no way in hell. That's all my mama kept saying. I'm like, okay, I ain't sleep. I'm up. She just confirmed, I'm up. 
So I'm sitting there and I'm reading and I'm screenshotting all the stuff in his phone. I'm like, I'm gonna send this to myself, but at the same time, I wasn't thinking to send it right away. So I'm gonna read to y'all. Like I said, he had hurry up and deleted all the other um screenshots out his phone. But I'm gonna read y'all one of the ones that did, you know, make it to my phone before he deleted it. She was like, why though? He was like, cuz, I don't know if I want you or I'm tripping. Like, I got a girlfriend, but since I started talking to you, I feel a certain way. She was like, what you mean? He said, I mean, I feel like I want to be with you, but I have a girlfriend. I think I'm going crazy. Like, I don't think me and her are going to work out, and I don't know what to do. Now, y'all, it was way more screenshots than that. Like, so I text him, and I'm like, I need you to come to me right now. He said, okay, everything okay? I said, I said I need you to come to me right now. I didn't tell him why, because I felt like he wasn't going to come to me, and I wasn't going to get my answer. So... He like, okay, I'm on the way now. Okay. Because you were supposed to be and bring us something to eat. But come to find out, you're sitting in the house using a phone, a backup phone that your homeboy gave you to text another bitch. Mm. So next thing you know, I'm sitting there and I'm pacing back and forth with the phone in the living room. And my sister Margo say, oh, there he go. Now, mind you, my siblings was outside playing. They didn't know, like, what all was going on. So, I just hear them saying, you know, there he go. So, I open the door. I open the door wide open. I'm talking about all the way open. He run into the yard with the biggest smile on his face. I'm talking about just the cheesing. He get to the door and he like, what's going on? And I'm staring him in his face. And he like, something wrong? I put out the phone and said, what is this? And I had the messages. I had it open on the messages. And his the smile that he had on his face dropped and first thing he says i swear to god it ain't me i swear to god it ain't me i'm like then who is it he I, I i don't know somebody must have my account i swear to god it ain't me i wasn't boring yesterday you might have been my first real relationship but i wasn't boring yesterday i was born that night but it wasn't last night so i had grabbed his jacket Cause he had on his little, um, the same Nike, gray Nike jacket that's in that screen record. And I grabbed the jacket, I yanked him in the house and I threw him into the corner. Did I put my hands on him? No. I don't know why, because I would've. I would've, but I guess I was just in disbelief that he did that to me because he didn't act like that before. So, I'm just staring at him and I'm like, stop lying. He go to putting it on his kids. I swear on my kids, that's not me. I swear on my life, that's not me. I swear to God, that's not me. I'm just naming people that he be around. I was like, so is this person, is this person? He, no, 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 no. So I said, call the girl. When I told him to call the girl, y'all should have seen how scared this boy looked. He looked it so terrified. I said, call her. She didn't answer the first three times. He called the fourth time. She answered. I said, Axel, what she know you from? And he was like, um, 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 where you, where you know me from? And she hung up the phone because she knew I was on the other end too. Because he's stuttering so damn bad. So then I'm like, oh, so you plumped me. Now, mind y'all, this is not even the icing on the cake. The girl that he was cheating on me with at the time was his little sister friend. Now, y'all put that together for me. Because at the time, his sister was 12. This is her friend. You're cheating on me with her friend. Now, how old that girl was, I don't know. But I hope it was around the same age as his little sister. So, I'm like, okay. Okay. Now, in the middle of this, y'all, another reason we was going back and forth at it because... He had a homeboy and his sister texting. Well, he didn't have them, but they were texting Mari, which is my little sister. Y'all already seen her before. Texting her, telling her, like, what they'll do to my kids when they come back over there. Stuff I wish I would have screenshot at the time, but it was so much stuff going on that I'm like, this can't be happening, like, to me right now. This, this can't. Like, they was texting her, like, okay, wait till um them kids come back over here. We gonna drown them in a tub. Wait till um they come back over here and he leave them in a the room. We gonna hit on them. Like, saying little stuff like that. And when they did say it, uh, text it to my sister, she'll run and tell me. And then I'll be like, 
these are y'all nieces too. Like, I'm confused. These are y'all blood. And y'all telling me, if I allow my kids to go over there, y'all going to drown them in a tub? Just childish shit. I brought it to his attention. I was like, you need to handle that because now I don't feel safe with my kids going over there. And he like, oh, they wouldn't say nothing like that. They must have got hacked. All four of y'all accounts hacked. All four? No, it ain't no way in hell it's hacked if they send in voice messages as well. Like, I don't know their voice. So then, like, it's like once they'll send it and my sister start, you know, replying back to them, they'll start unsending it. Sorry, your kids. If you can't prove to me or show me that you can protect your kids while I'm not around, my kids was no longer allowed over there. You can come to my mama's house and see them anytime you want to. But I was not allowing my kids to go over there. Come to find out, they were sending messages and shit like that because they knew the whole time this man was cheating with his sister friend. But it's like, that had nothing to do with y'all. Why bring kids into it? And I did nothing. So y'all helping him cheat for whatever reason. Because they never wanted to see him happy. And then y'all talking about my kids. So that's how my sister and his sister ended up fighting. Because they was on Instagram having words back and forth. Now after they had said what they said about my kids. I told my sister to block them not to say nothing else. Not knowing that she still was arguing with them. So it was just you know adding up. So y'all I tell y'all no lie. All this was going on around the same time I'm in there talking to this man. And I'm asking him like why you did what you did. He still that's not me that's not me. So I'm sitting in there and I'm just, I just bust out laughing because I'm like you think I'm you, you know you think I'm stupid. So as I'm talking to him, I look out the window and it's his sister with a group of people calling out my sister, Mari. I'm like, what the hell is going on? Because remind y'all, I told y'all, I told her to stop texting them, just block them because they the type to keep going. I can't deal with all that negative energy. I'm just going to be ready to fight. Like y'all talk. I can't do that. Come down to our Cody set with a group of people so i come outside my sister is yelling at the gate she like bitch i'm gonna beat your ass come down here come down here so now mama don't ran out the door mama's like what the hell is going on so i'm like i'm confused because i'm like i thought i told you to block this bitch like did she come on her own or y'all still arguing so she's like no she's still you know she's still going she's still going to us what she gonna do to my nieces this that and the third so i'm like mari you know just let it go let that shit go so she like come down here we're gonna get our fair ones and you know we gonna leave it alone. That's never the case. That's never the case. It don't matter how many times they fought. They still came over there bothering my siblings. So it was just aggravating. And then they played victim after the fight was over. So I'm telling my sister, I'm standing there. And I'm like, you know, Mari, you know, leave it alone. And I was like, nah, I see all y'all working together. Like, he over here cheating on me with his little sister friend. And the little sister... And his homeboy is getting together, talking about what they're going to do to my kids. So when my kids go back to his house, and now they don't went and regrouped all these damn people. And now they planning on jumping my sister. So I'm like, no, you know, just leave it alone. I told him I ain't have nothing to say to him. Next thing you know, she starts, you know, walking closer and closer to our street. And she like, Mario, come out the gate, bitch. Come out the gate, bitch. Come out the gate, bitch. I'm like, bro, like. So she just kept talking. I'm like, bro, just go home. She like, shut up, bitch. Who? So I told her, I said, you know what? I said, come down here. Come in the gate. Y'all can fight in the driveway. Get y'all fair ones. Leave that shit alone. She like, no, tell that pussy ass bitch to come over here. Just that and the third. So my mama like, Mari, you're not going to go out that gate because you already know they police ass people. Y'all going to fight. Once they lose, they call the police. Y'all going to be in trouble too because y'all left the property. So... Mario wasn't trying to hear none of that. Mario is like me. Like, when I'm in a mood, I'm ready to fight. I don't hear nothing. Face red, ears hot. I don't see nothing but red. So, Mario was like, I swear to God, say something else. And I'm going to come down there and beat your ass. Like, she had forgot my moves right there. And she was like, ah, I said something else. And it was sticking her tongue out. And next thing you know, by a blink, a blink of an eye, Mari had no struck out running out the gate. And at the time I was holding Lonnie and I was like, oh shit. So I had passed Lonnie to my mama and I started running after Mari. Cause remind y'all, she's down there with a group of people. If they jump my sister, 
I don't give a fuck how old anybody is. That's not gonna go down like that. So I'm running behind Mari, and then we had our other sister, which is under me. Her name is Naya. She started running out the gate too. So I'm telling Naya, like, no, you get back in the gate. You get back in the gate. If they do fight, let them get their ones because I don't want to hear nothing about y'all jump. His sister says, nah, I want both of them hoes. That's what she said. And even after she said that, I told my sister, I said, no, let Mari handle what she got to handle. I said, and if she still wants you, then you can get your one after her. She said, nah, like I said, I want both of them hoes. I'll take both of them hoes. What's up? I couldn't stop both of them. That made Mari start running to her fast. So Mari ran up to her and Mari got to her before I can even grab Mari and hold Mari back. And at first, you know, she was laughing while squaring up. And then when Mari ran, Mari didn't stop running. You know how you run to somebody and start running, then start swinging. Mari continued running, popped her, and they just went to fighting. And then next thing you know, my sister Naya jumped in because after I told her to go back in the yard so that you and Mari can get your one, you told her that she'll take both of these holes. So she came like you told her to come. At the end of the day, y'all did talk about my kids. Y'all came down here to do what y'all supposed to do. Hash it out. All I know is I ain't touched nobody. I sat right there. So my mama was like, you know, she's tired of it because this was a ongoing thing. Like, they stayed bringing people to our house to fight. And my mama always was like, you know, my kids ain't fighting nobody this and the third. So this particular day... My mama, she couldn't stop nothing because it was already, you know, too much built up. My sister wasn't finna listen. She wasn't finna listen. And I didn't blame her because if somebody keep picking at you and pushing your buttons, how much more can you take? Like, so I stood right there. You know, I watched the fight to make sure, you know, nothing ain't go too far. And they did what they had to do. After that, I turned around and I noticed in a group was one of his homeboys that was in a voice message that was sent to my sister Mari talking about how he was going to drown my kids and was going to hit on them when they come over there. Because remind you, when my kids used to come over there, which I had found that out later, when my kids used to come over there, and his sister is the one that told me this. She used to call me while my baby is in the room screaming. So I was told, like, when my kids would come over there, he would put them in a room with the door closed and go in there and scroll up the walls because that's what his mama is telling him to do, purposely. So... I'm like, you know, like, it, it, it's just too much. Like, it's too much. Like, I never had to deal with this much drama a day in my life. Like, it's just too much. I know y'all sitting there like, huh? Yes. It was one of his days where he was supposed to get the kids. It wasn't even 30 minutes until he arrived to the house with them. And I get a call from his sister, which was on Instagram. So I'm like, hello. She like, um, do you want me to, like, go in there and, you know, try to play with them so they can calm down? And I'm like, what are you talking about? She like, the kids are not screaming. Now, remind y'all, as she telling me this, I hear my kids screaming. So I'm already jumped up. Like, y'all know a mother be on go by her kids. So I already don't jumped up. And I'm like, what the hell is wrong with my kids? She like, oh, um, soon as he came in the house with the girls, my mama told him that he might as well put them in the room and close the door and clean up the kitchen in her bedroom. And it better be done by the time she get back. I said... Your mama did what? And your brother still did it? And she was like, yeah. And at the time, I'm already walking to their house to get my girls because I can hear them in the back screaming. Like, they just screaming in the room. I said, you know what? I said, just give them their cup. I said, I'm on the way. As I get there, I can hear my kids screaming from the stop sign, y'all. I swear on my life, I can hear my kids screaming from the stop sign. So, I don't started running to his house. So, I'm banging on the door. I'm banging on the door. I'm banging on the door. He opened up the door. I said, you have my kids in a room with the door closed and they screaming? He's sitting up with his eyes big and he looking like, like, who the hell told you? That, that's all he looking like, his eyes big, like he don't got in trouble. And I'm like, it ain't no way because it, no, it, it ain't no telling how long this been going on. So I went in there, I grabbed my kids and I took them back home. And I said, you know, if it's going to be some evil shit like that every time my kids come around, I don't want them back over there had happened before this situation that was going on currently his sister is calling me telling me all of this so back to the fight or whatever the fight he come walking down the street towards his sister and he you know helping her get up as he you know helping her get up maya is screaming and crying to my dad and dad with her arms out do y'all not know this man walked past my baby and walked down the street with his homeboys 
on the same phone that I had just broke. I sure did. That backup phone that his homeboy gave him, I slammed it on the ground so damn hard that it shattered. It broke. You couldn't do nothing with it. So, I'm like, oh, this type of time we on. Okay. So, he goes back home. I had nothing to say to him. I was hurt because it's like, why? You can't even tell me why. So, then, after they go home, you'll think that the bitch was sorry. Or, you know, he didn't mean to do what he did. But then he go back home and he texts her again. They text him. So, this is one of the screenshots that I found. She said, go handle your baby mama. He said, I didn't know she was going to look through the other phone. And I'm done with her. She tried to fight me and everything. For one, I never tried to fight that man. Never. I couldn't even lift my hand up to put my hands on him because I was so in shock. I just stared at him because I knew he was lying in my face. I didn't touch this man. I only grabbed that man by his jacket and I brought him into the house just in case he tried to run out the door. I needed my answers. I didn't put my hands on you. Trust me, if I put my hands on you, you wouldn't have been able to type what you was typing. He said, but I don't want that to ruin our friendship. I'm really sorry. But I know you're mad at me right now. I understand why. I just want to say I'm sorry. She said, I told you before you even started texting me, you should basically handle your baby mama first. That's what she had said before it cut off. Can't nobody fucking handle me. I didn't touch him. If I touch him, he wouldn't have been in one piece. So what the hell did you talk about? So then let's go to the other screenshots that I had received. I had received these screenshots from a different um, phone. So it was like, it says something about, my auntie said my mama ain't shit and she was going to come around here. She said, damn, why your auntie going like that? She Because my mama ain't shit. And she said she finna go beat Zaya ass and the mama ass. I need you now. I'm in so much pain and all my mama telling me to do is clean up. I hope I die. I wonder who would care. Um, it said, I didn't mean it as in you started it. I was saying it was over you. But Tay said, are you mad at him? You still asking, is the next bitch mad at you? Meanwhile, you got a whole family that lives not even two minutes away from you. Oh. She said, I didn't mean for it to be over me, but I told your brother that that was going to happen. But yes, I am still mad at him. I'm going to talk to him when I'm ready. But you knew that he had a whole girl and kids and you still proceeded to talk to this man and entertain this man. Now, did I text her? No, because my issue wasn't with you, even though I should have said something to you because you knew about us. You knew he had a whole family at home because he mentioned that several times. Not to mention... This man used to have us on his page as his profile picture. And he had a picture posted of us. So while you texting him, you looking at that damn profile picture with all four of us on there. And you still proceeded to entertain this man. I don't get you, hoes. Then he goes to say, okay, I'm sorry again. Hashtag Tay. She said, okay, you straight? Mm. Then she said, then you could have said that instead of saying everything was my fault. Your brother is the reason this shit happened. But like I told him, he need to focus on his relationship already in and not me. But you still was entertaining him. I wish I had the other messages from when it was him and her talking. Because y'all will see what the hell I was talking about. Like I even showed him to my brother. If I could find him, then I'll put him in here. And she goes to say he's not in a relationship no more. She said, I know he told me, but still, he admitted that he was wrong for doing what he did. And he said he didn't want, didn't believe that it was him because remind y'all, she heard, you know, me on the other end. So she was like, then send a voice message. They sent a voice message. She said, the fuck, baby girl, that ain't my fault. He found my Instagram and started following me. Then said something about me following him back. So I did. That's your brother fault, honey. Don't put that blame on me. Like I told him, he need to get his baby mama. When I got all these screenshots, I had got a screen recording of him in the background. Looked like he was in the kitchen with his homeboy that was talking about my kids. And they was on the phone. And you could tell that the homeboy was helping him text the girl. So basically helping him cheat. So I said it was a bunch of messy shit going on. So after that, I felt some type of way because how are you going to tell me that you're sorry? But then you go home and still text the bitch and you tell her that you're sorry. How does that work? My twin had called me and he was like, what's going on? So I had basically gave him, you know, a little short rundown of what was going on. And my brother was like, nah, not Tay. I'm like, yeah, 
yes him and he was like that that's crazy that's crazy so my brother was mad my brother was furious and i guess he had ended up reaching out to him now i had sent my brother the screenshots because this boy tried to play and make it seem like oh no i just you know didn't want him talking to any girl which you told me that you didn't want me talking to any boy so it's still considered cheating because that's what you told me but he tried to tell my twin that Oh, no, he was just talking to the girl as a friend, and I took it as he was trying to get with her. But y'all seen the screenshot when he said, I want you, but I got a girlfriend, right? Okay, I wasn't tripping. So, let's go to what he texts my brother. Because my brother basically was telling him, like, you did ass wrong that you did that to my twin. You know, I don't respect that. You know, I don't got no respect for you, this, that, and the third. So... He texts and said, the whole thing was crazy and out of hand. Didn't mean for none of this to happen. Didn't know it was going to be taken this far. The girl I was texting was a friend and I was just talking and playing and telling her what I was going through with Zaya. And I guess she seen it and got mad and told me to come to the house and stuff. She started asking me questions, but I didn't want to start nothing in the house. I just said I didn't know and I didn't do it. But I know what I did was fucked up. I'm sorry to her and anyone else that I hurt in the making of me doing it. I just didn't want to fight nobody and I'm not going to fight nobody because I know what I did was wrong and I got to live up to what I did. But I just don't want no problem with anyone. I know I messed up. My brother wasn't even going to put his hands on you. He just wanted to know why you did his twin like that. That's all. So then, um... I don't know what all my brother said, but I know in the little paragraph my brother wrote, he was like, you know, yeah, you wrong. I don't respect that. And basically, whether my sister take you back or not, you need to help with y'all kids because she didn't make them by herself. So his response to that was, yeah, I'm going to come see and help out and get them so she can really calm down. And I appreciate it again. And I'm going to be here for them. Even if we don't get back together, I'm going to still be here no matter what. That's what he told my brother. With that going on i said i was done like it was nothing else for me to talk about there was nothing else for me to talk about because you did what you did and like i was hurt and i was sitting there thinking like zai why did you freeze up why couldn't you put your hands on this man like because why would you play with me like that we were together for so long everything that we had going on we built we built then we had two kids together and you mean to tell me that you still gonna play with me? You didn't think once about your kids. You didn't think about my feelings. You had people in your ear that was telling you like, oh, do this, do that, do this, do that, do that. At the same time, I can't even put it on him because you your own person. You, you your own person. You think for yourself. Nobody can't make you do anything. So I didn't respect that. The girls fell asleep, but I stayed up that whole night just thinking. Like, I didn't go to sleep not one time. As I was up in the middle of the night, like, just thinking, because like I said, I didn't get no sleep. I get this text. You up still? Question mark. I miss you. I'm sorry for not texting you and not loving you like I suppose and used to. Can I come lay next to you, please? I miss you. I'm sorry. This is what he texts me. So come that next day around like 8 in the morning because I remember it was really early. After he texts me that, I don't even think I responded. Like, I don't even think I responded. If I did, I don't remember what I said. Um, this is Naya comes knocking my door and she said hey he here and he said he want to talk to you i stared at her i said go ahead and you know let him in so he come in he come in the room he closed the door and he like you know i don't want everybody else in our business so can we just you know talk while the door closed i said yeah so he apologized for cheating he was like i shouldn't have did it he was like i didn't know what to do you got, you know, my mama in one ear. He was like, and then me and you arguing because of what my mama doing. But then in the messages, you told this girl that it was me. So when I told, when I brought that up to him, he was like, I, I don't know why I did that. I don't know why I told her, you know, it was you. He was like, but we both know what we talked about. And I told you, you know, I can't really say nothing to my mama because that's her house and she'll put me out i didn't care about that because like i said you had a choice to cheat and you had a choice not to cheat and you choose to cheat so he basically was like we talked about what two hours and he just was like you know you don't have to forgive me right away but i do apologize you know i still want to be here for you and my kids 
um, I love you so much and I miss you last night made me realize that I messed up. And I'm like, did you come over here to tell me that just because you don't want to fight my brother? Because that's what it's giving. And he's like, no, I still don't want to fight nobody. But, you know, that, that wasn't the case. I was going to come over here and try to talk to you anyways. I just don't want, you know, everybody else in our business. You already put everybody in our business when you did what you did. Because your people knew what you was doing. I had to find out on my own. And like I said, it was nobody but God that be speaking to me. Because when I get that gut feeling, I know I'm not tripping. Um, He was asking me, like, you know, do this mean we done? Can we get back together? And I told him, like... I don't want to get back together right now. Like, I need time. I need a break. And he was like, understandable. And he was like, I, I do anything to prove to you that, you know, I'm done. I'm done texting that girl. I don't want her. I prove to you that I want you back, my relationship back. So, the first step he did was give me the passwords to everything. His Facebook, his Instagram, and his phone. And I'm like, that still wasn't enough for me. He was like, I'll delete Instagram. He deleted Instagram. But I just still felt like that wasn't enough for me to say, you know, I'm ready to get back together. So I just told him, I was like, all right. I, I see. But now you still, not, now you have to, you know, earn my trust back. I'm not finna just willingly give it to you. Because when I did just willingly give it to you, you destroyed it. You took advantage of it. And that's why I said, because I'm like a homebody, you know, I guess they feel like, like, oh, I won't know anything. I won't find out anything, but it's crazy. I sit at home, and I take care of my kids, and I mind my business. And that just goes to show how God don't play about me. Because he showed me signs, and he gave me this gut feeling letting me know they lying to you. They is lying to you. So, yeah, really much after that, you know, didn't happen. Um, he just asked, could he continue to, you know, come by and see us? And I told him he can come by and see, you know, his kids. I wouldn't stop him. They just, you know, wasn't going back to his house because of the things that, you know, his people said that they'll do. And I didn't trust it. We didn't get back together probably like for like two weeks. I know, being stupid. Um... But yeah, how we got back together, um, I had to run to Walmart again to get things that my babies needed and he was going to watch them. And like I told him, my girls couldn't go back to his people house so he could sit at my house, you know, with the girls until I got back. So he immediately came and then he was trying to, you know, hug on me and talk to me and I didn't want to do none of that. So then I remember going to the store as I was in the store, I got a text from him. And it was like, not a long paragraph, but it was like a little paragraph. And he was like, you know, I know I messed up. I'm sorry for what I did. He was like, but I want you back. I want my family back. I miss you. Um, I love you too much to lose you. It will never happen again and stuff like that. In that text, I was like, you have to earn my trust back. He said he was willing to earn it back. Like, he'll work with me. Because before all this had happened, I never came to him about a female. Like, he used to go to the pool with his homeboys. I never thought, like, oh, it's going to be girls that he's going to be doing this. I trusted him too much. He used to go play basketball or go to the gym with his homeboys. I never bitched to him about no girl because I had no reason to. After you did what you did, nah, I don't, I don't trust you. I don't know what you're doing. I don't. And then it was the people that you hang around with daily that's in your ear helping you do the dirty work so it's like how can i trust you after that had happened um my trust issues were all over the place let's just say that pretty much was the end of you know part one i do have part two which is very mo entertaining and long and all over the place so if y'all want to hear part two then make sure y'all comment down below that being said make sure y'all like comment subscribe send to a friend or a family member and stay tuned for part two